But then the other thing I found was actually what was being displayed by a lot of people on the internet were, were communist and Marxist characteristics. Yeah, I say that openly. That we found in the, the research study that a lot of people were making statements that were very, very, without realizing it, pro-Marxist, pro-communist. Whether those people were actually Marxist or communist in real life, I don't know. I very much doubt it because of the nature of things that they said about other uh, topics and other areas. But in relation to this issue, in relation to the internet, that's what's being displayed. And as marketers, we fail to understand that. We're, we're sort of lagging behind. The people who understand it are the actual cultural theorists. They'll tell you straight away, oh, these are the guys who uh, uh, download from the internet. This is why they download. So the questions that we're asking as marketers, or have were asking previously as marketers, why are people doing these activities? What are they doing? The answers are actually already there. We're just sort of uh, a little bit behind uh, because of the approach that was being used. Yeah, uh, Contextual uh, internet users, they said, well, it's okay to do it in some context but not in other contexts. So I got the viewpoint that if you're not making money out of it, it's okay. Would you guys sort of agree with that? If you're not making money, you can download. Yeah. So if you're just watching a movie for yourself. Yeah. That, that's one viewpoint which was there. And the other was conformist, absolute staunch opponents. No, it's wrong. You can't do it. It's stealing. Yeah. So we had this diversity, which was to be expected. Uh, but the interesting thing was in the nature of the actual uh, contextual discussions. So in the context, uh, you would find people who, again, displayed different characteristics towards this issue and different characteristics towards another issue. And the point that I'm making here is that the typologies that we use, we can develop typology after typology and say, here's a group of internet users, here's another group of internet users, and within six months you'll find a different group. So it's constantly evolving. And the only way you're really going to keep in touch with your consumers online is if you can actually keep in touch with them physically, right? Be online, be on the actual virtual communities. Uh, get on Facebook, get on uh, Twitter, as uh, Evangelos was saying, get those websites out there, not so you can sell anything on them, but just so you can be there, so you can actually be a part of the actual experience. Uh, people are going online as an extension to, well not as an extension to uh, their everyday lives, but this is now a second life for them. Yeah, no sort of pun intended with second life there, but, but that's kind of what we're, what we're, what we're getting at here. We've got a, a second existence on the internet, which is quite different to what we're doing outside over here, right? Um, there's different concerns that we have when we go online, there's different experiences, and you might not think that it influences you and in your purchase behavior, but guess what guys, it does, it still does, uh, but you're probably not as aware of it. Now we are becoming, as we uh, pointed out in the previous presentation, more sophisticated as consumers. We're getting to know more, we know more about everything. Uh, I would argue actually, we're probably becoming a bit more naive to some extent. Yeah, Even though we're becoming more sophisticated, we're becoming more naive. Why are we becoming more naive? Because we now think we know what's right. And that sort of detracts us from uh, doing maybe what uh, is right. So we all have an opinion now. Before the opinion was sort of told to us, but now we, everyone's got an opinion on everything. Yeah, we can't shut up. We've got to tweet about it. Yeah? Uh, we've got to put it on Facebook. We've got to uh, 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 name and shame someone. And it's because of the social media that it's, uh, that it's happening. And that's why it's a really good time to be doing this kind of research, because uh, at the moment, people, nobody really understands this phenomena, which is not the internet, it's gone beyond that now, which is social media. No one understands that phenomena. So what could I conclude from uh, some of my uh, research? Uh, again, I don't refer back to this too much, but uh, it was a, a simpler and less intrusive method which, which I sort of uh, adopted there. Um, and it's limited, well it was limited at the time to internet discussion forums, but I'm expanding it now to social uh, networks and communities as well. Um, and uh, I'm working with a couple of sort of uh, um, car fan sites and uh, the like who have built their own social communities there so they're enthusiasts of, for example, the Type Accord group which is a Honda Accord owners club uh, website. I'm involved with that. 
and a few other websites uh, like that, or well, they're not really websites, but as I said, they're, they're communities, online communities. Uh, and it really does need to be tested. I don't claim that this model is the answer. What I'm, what I'm saying is that we need to constantly develop different models because we don't really and we never will really understand how to understand or how to uh, actually research consumers until we become one of them. And the more you use these social networks, the more you engage with them, the better your understanding of them will become and the more sort of valuable you become. We t uh, Evangelos alluded to the fact that you know there's, there's money to be made out there, and yes, there is. Your what you're learning here is a priceless commodity, because just yesterday, I was um, reading an article by a social media consultancy who who I've been uh, um, liaising with over the last couple of years, and uh, they were bragging about how they've now um, clocked it, how they've now worked out a way of measuring social media success. I read the article and I couldn't find a single thing which told me how to measure social media success, which made sense. And it's not because I'm dumb, I'd, uh, it's because the article didn't actually have the answer. It was essentially just the same jargon which talked about um, users in a, in a certain way and it didn't actually offer a, a tangible way to, to get to people. However, the consultancy I know very well are, are very good at social media marketing and social media uh, strategy. But putting it down on paper, that's the, that's the difficulty. Actually doing it on a regular basis. Claiming to be an expert. You're one of the few guys in this room, uh, in the country, I would say, who are actually learning about social media strategy. And in three or four years' time, in fact, even in uh, 12 months' time, you're going to see the demand for this surging. You're going to see more and more people wanting to get involved in social media, more and more people wanting to get a, a in on the action. Because before, it was seen as an extension. It was seen, okay, let's have a Facebook page for the sake of having a Facebook page. Let's have uh, a Twitter account so we can you know, tweet about our special offers every now and then. Uh, but now, all the business, all the major businesses who have got any sense are clocking onto the fact that actually we now need to not just get online and get on the social media, but we've got to get dedicated people who are going to do nothing but liaise with customers on those, those social media networks and not talk about selling products at all, but talk about whatever it is that they want to talk about. So you as an organization, well not you guys, but as an organization, uh, a company can no longer dictate what they put online. They can, can, can't dictate to the consumer. The consumer is now dictating to them. The consumer is becoming more powerful and in order to understand that consumer, we need to engage with them more. And uh, here's a set of some selected references. Uh, if you want, I'll leave them on there so you can take a few of them down if you like. I'm happy to sort of take any questions or any advice. But thank you for your time. Thank you.